Michael in uh, actually uh, speaking quite a, a big proportion of my talk, so I can save more time to uh, show my cases. So actually, um, uh, uh, the percentage of metastatic breast cancer in Hong Kong is actually quite similar to Singapore, it's around 8%. And, and from the paper from Professor Yip, I can see you have done a lot of series in Malaysia, and your percentage of stage 4 disease is actually higher, it's uh, around uh, um, uh, more than 15%. Uh, uh, um, and. Uh, um, however, as we know that um, the term metastatic breast cancer is actually come from what we told this morning, uh, anatomical staging. That means the tumor is outside uh, the breast and the regional lymph node. However, now as prognostic staging becomes more and more important, we will know that uh, metastatic breast cancer is actually comprised of a wide spectrum of disease and the aim of treatment um, of course we aim to prolong the survival and also to improve the quality of life but all these shall be dictated by um, the molecular characteristic of the cancer by using different uh, systemic treatment is still the mainstay of the treatment that um, uh, Michael has illustrated that nicely just before. So, um, what should be the role of surgery? Uh, traditionally, is to um, for symptom control to remove a fungating tumor or breathing tumor, and it's not to aim to alter um, the disease causes. Um, so, but from with experience from malignancy from other organs, um, the uh, po possibility of decreasing the tumor burden and increasing the efficacy of systemic treatments might um, contribute to improved survival. So uh, I think uh, Michael has shown us all the data that um, and answer my first questions that local surgical treatment might improve the outcome of the patient of metastatic breast cancer from those meta-analysis and also from those uh, RCT, so I'm not going to repeat it. But what we should remain uh, uh, emphasize is all those study is quite heterogeneous in the timing of surgery, whether it is before or after chemotherapy, and also uh, and also it also that there is the surgery might only benefit more significantly in certain subgroup of patients. So um, and also. What about surgical recession of the metastatic site if it is a uh, uh, solitary metastasis? Um, there are different series uh, in removing um, distant metastasis over lungs, liver, and even radio frequency abrasions. Um, there, they show that um, surgery in this distant metastasis site is feasible, but um, the benefits to surgery is not uh, to, to uh, systemic treatment alone uh, is not compared and data is still lacking so we don't know whether we should do surgery over this uh, distant metastasis um, but um, for local uh, breast surgery is um, uh, besides uh, symptom control um, um, it is quite, uh, although nowadays the systemic treatment is quite important, but it still has a role in symptom control, especially for those uh, old and poor pre-morbid ladies, they are unfit for systemic treatment. Uh, for those, um, they have complications arising from systemic treatment that they cannot further tolerate, or for those not responsive to systemic treatment. And now, um, Michael has told us there may have an added role in disease control for metastatic breast cancer. However, uh, we need to uh, pay attention on the timing of surgery uh, because the sequence of treatment, either chemo or endocrine therapy first, or surgery first, and case selections, and is still uh, an, an unanswered questions 
And also when we offer surgery in this metastatic breast cancer case, we need to be very careful because they are usually of higher risk patients. We have to balance the risk and benefits and we have to make different surgical choices available so that uh, we can put the patients in a minimal risk during surgery. So from my hospital, uh, our practice is uh, the surgery offering for metastatic breast cancer is for those symptomatic cases for symptom control and for stable metastatic disease like those only with bone or soft tissue neck or those with visceral met but so significant response for chemotherapy. We do did metastatomy uh, especially for solitary metastasis, but we limit it to very simple um, radio frequency abrasion, which was uh, usually only done under local uh, anesthetic. So we try to minimize the risk of um, metastatomy. And for um, those cases uh, who need a surgical um, a, a, a surgery for metastatic cases, most of the time we need to cover the large defects and we need to have different choice of reconstructions. When we uh, choose the uh, choice for reconstruction, we need to um, look into factors like patient factor, they are premorbid, um, and also to estimate the size of the defect. And the aim is to minimize the surgical morbidity, as I mentioned, those are uh, high-risk patients. And so there are some case illustration. This lady is 85 years old. She has a, a, a metastatic bone, uh, bone, bone mat, uh, a, a white breast cancer with bone mat, and she was put on hormonal treatment, and her disease is quite stable. So, um, but uh, there is a, a symptomatic uh, tumor over there, and because of old age, we would like to remove the tumor, but would try to minimize the surgical morbidity. And we planned for primary culture, but it's quite a big defect. Uh, so we use the adjuncts. I'm not sure if you have used this um, top culture before. Anyone use it before? No. So um, actually, I have a video. If you are interested, I can show you later. Um, actually, it's a quite useful adjunct. It's to uh, stretch the skin to allow tension-free primary culture. Uh, it is to stretch and relax during uh, the operation. So it's like quite like tension suture, but it is more than tension suture because it even out the tension and it also stretches out the uh, um, increase the skin elasticity to aid the primary culture. So this is the case I saw before. It's around a six centimeter gap. So we apply stretching and relaxation exercise, and uh, slowly the skin is closed and it's quite nice post radiotherapy and actually this operation is um uh, uh is only 30 minutes longer than the usual operation and we are avoiding uh, morbidity in this old lady and but help her to remove the symptomatic cancer so this is another case uh this is a metastatic tumor but triple negative. We know that she is having poor prognosis and surgery uh, should not be the mainstay of treatment. However, she is having a huge impending rupture tumor uh, is, and is quite uh, uh, in, and is, uh, sorry, inflammation and infection. However, she is of quite poor premorbid. Um, she is um, have history of stroke, uh, hemiplegic on wheelchair. Um, and she is not fit for chemotherapy. And we have to do surgery to remove the um, infectious cancer. So um, it's quite a large defect. We can't use top culture, but we want to minimize the morbidity as she is an old stroke patient. So what we did is a uh, local follicle uh, epigastric fat. So you can see it's a, a large defect, but we use a local fat, which is a one hour operations. And we just rotate uh, 45 to 90 degrees and the culture is nicely healed, uh, uh, closed. And um, surprisingly, the tumor pathology combat is less, much smaller. So the big uh, tumor size clinically is mainly due to infections. So